The COVID Recovery Clinic at UH and at Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital encompasses the entire age spectrum. So there is an adult COVID Recovery Clinic. It's based out of Ahuja, but we have a COVID Recovery Clinic here at Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital for all of the kids and teenagers who are also suffering from post-COVID symptoms. So this syndrome in children presents in a variety of ways, but primarily the far and away what we see is fatigue. These are kids who were running track, who were playing soccer, who were wrestling, who were playing hockey, who in some cases can hardly get out of bed now. Um, they, some of them are able to barely manage part-time school. Some are doing full in-home schooling because they just don't have the energy. Some are able to go to school but have had to cut out all of their their extracurricular activities because they just they can't do it anymore. Um, so fatigue, I think, is probably the main thing that we see, and it's probably one of the hardest things to see. To watch these teenagers just just stop doing all the things that they love is just really hard to see. And then the other interesting thing that we see is is the effects on the GI tract. So these kids present with a variety of symptoms, but it's all along the GI tract. And by all along, I mean everything from top burping, sore throat, stomach upset, nausea, diarrhea, constipation. The GI tract really seems to be really affected um, by COVID long haul in children. Um, and then the last thing we see is some variation of shortness of breath, dizziness, just not feeling completely stable. And then past that, there's a whole long list of symptoms, any variety of which various patients can experience. I mean, it's really just almost any body system can be affected by COVID long haul. The cardiac system is the one that people worry about the most, and kids do have some effects there. So some of them feel a little bit of chest pain, heart palpitations, again, shortness of breath, which could be lungs or heart. But for the most part, when we send these kids for echoes, EKGs, their hearts appear to be functioning very healthy. They, their hearts aren't affected, the organ itself, they more feel strange things like those the palpitations that I mentioned. But we usually don't find any actual cardiac complications in the kids, which is, you know, at least there's that. <laughs> it's anything and everything. It's it's a really frustrating syndrome for these kids. If your kids have ongoing symptoms, I would absolutely have them evaluated before they go back to sports, 100%. With school, it really depends on how they're feeling. And again, with some of these COVID long haulers, they may not have the energy to do that. And the one thing I would stress to to parents who have kids with ongoing symptoms is to believe your kids. So one of the things that we've seen with long haul is a lot of the parents think that maybe it's related to pandemic anxiety and they're so used to being at home that they don't want to go to school or it's school refusal or you know it's because the kids don't want to do their schoolwork. And what can happen with long haul syndrome is a lot of kids can get what's called post-exertional uh, fatigue or post-exertional worsening of their symptoms. And so whereas before they might have rated their, their fatigue as like a four out of 10, but then the parents keep making them go to school. And by the time they end up in my clinic, they're at like seven or eight out of 10 because their parents have been pushing them and pushing them and pushing them. And they've they've caused more damage, essentially. Um, and so if your kid is telling you that they're not getting better from COVID, I mean, you know your kid the best. And obviously, are there some kids out there that might try to milk the system? Sure, we all know those teenagers who'd rather stay home and play video games. But I would urge you to believe your kid and, and to have your kid evaluated.